This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic singing. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill in this one Bobby Miller great sinker although it's not his primary pitch it's really a pitch that he can go Lee to Thompson. misses the barrel of the bat the gets base ground base. balls and lets the Lee defense Lee. work behind him and Torres. stepping in for the Yankees Glaber Torres fastball for a strike and the World Series is underway. On the ground to short. Tosses to first. And a quick out number one. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's... Uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of... Uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series one out base is empty he was taking it thinking it might be a cold ball or anything I just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion Aaron Judge at the plate Judge rips that one Hernandez makes a nice running catch and the Dodgers are coming up to hit no score you're watching the World Series on the show Back here at Chavez Ravine and towing the slab, Garrett Cole. What do you have on him, Chris? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Kicks and fires. To the right oh. side, and foul ball. The 0-2. Gets a piece, and stays alive. And a pitch. That That's one just misses. It's a good take. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. 
Cole a check to first. Otani back in. Cole in his 11th season, 33 years old, and of course has a Cy Young to his credit. There's a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Ball strike right there. You'll one. And a foul ball. Runner on the go. Swing and a miss. No throw. He's in there safely. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. Swings through that one. Come this would be huge right straight. here if they could get on the board and be the first ones to score in this one with the home field advantage. Get that crowd behind you and just intimidate the opposition a little bit more. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the inch. A controversial cold strike. Three to end the inning. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. No score. Second inning Maybe set to go. Game. Now here the is Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. So far the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun. Trust your ability. You know, Siggy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you get to the World Series, that's what your whole goal was the entire season. Then you're there, there can be some luck involved. So you just got to shake it off, go out there, know that this is a rare opportunity, and just play your best. Kicks and deals. And that was cut out and miss. And the count's even at two. This park is absolutely electric for this game. Such a great postseason atmosphere. Three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Nothing like the drama you get in the postseason, but I'd love being a part of these games. Now at the plate, Austin Wells. Wouldn't no. chase that time. That's ball for a strike. Pitch misses there. Two balls and a strike. One, one. Stanton gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That ah. one, a triple Ooh. digits. The fastball at the bottom of the zone see. can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Smith makes the grab. One away. And here That's is Anthony it. Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And there's a ball. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. And oh. another ball. Green one. Right through there for a strike. And boy, that Rainbow. was the pitch. 3 right. 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Cuts on it and misses. 
misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. That's a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first here in game one of the World Series. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Well, you got to oh, find yeah. a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, oh. you're saying to yourself, how did I one miss ball. that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Out towards right center field. On the move to the gap. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. The Yanks lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. Cole back to work. And that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. That oh. just misses. One ball, one strike. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. In the air, out towards left center. Puts it away for the out. Here's Kike Hernandez. The center fielder, Kike. Hernandez. High fly ball out to left field. Verdugo gets under it. And it's caught for the out. The batter now batter, will batter. be Will Smith. Well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series but now a chance to hit the reset button that's one of the things he's going to have to get you ah that ends the inning so we take a break we'll move to the third with no score back here in la here's alex verdugo game one of the world series here tonight and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues the great thing you're here in the world series now just try to have fun the performance has been outstanding and why should it stop now how do they cool them off well they're going to be extremely careful with him i doubt he's going to get much to hit today but when he does be careful because he can hit it a long way That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Playable Betts makes the grab, and there's one away. And there's one down. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. One ball. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. That catches the outside corner, and it's one and one. Fought off foul. Top of the third, no score. Not close with that one. Two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. Outside. Three balls. Two strikes. And he walked Ball. him. Now batting. The second baseman. So the batting order Glamour. turns over. Here's Glamour Torres. 0 for 1 so far. And that's in there for strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. 
Lifted in the air, right field. Hayward makes the grab, two down. The batter, the right fielder. Here's Juan Soto. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Ripped on the ground a second, He's and down. the inning is over. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And we're back, Lady bottom Gunner. of the Lady inning. Gunner. And at the plate for the Dodgers, the right Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward. Pitch. Oh. Ball one there. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you, what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. The second baseman, Gavin. And now it's Gavin Lux. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. And that skips in the dirt. And the right hander deals. Out to short. Throw on to Rizzo. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now batter, the designated hitter, Johan. Back to the top of the Dodgers oh. order. Shohei Otani up to the dish. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. That catches the zone for a strike. Going one. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Rocking it out towards right center. Takes a tumble and hangs on. Well, a sigh of relief in their dugout. Stumbled a little bit. If he misses that one, it rolls all the way to the wall. Nice catch to end the inning. Game one of the World Series. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one in triple digits. Judge goes six feet, seven inches, 31 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. And he'll two. And a base hit up the middle. And the postseason success continues for him. He was all over now, that one. Tying on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball no, no, up the no, no, middle. No, no. Didn't square it up as much yeah. as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Right hey, through hey. there for a strike. Righty delivers. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Wells up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. the zone and the count even one and one the pitch 
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Oh. And another ball. Going to lay off that pitch down. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer of oh, Uncle Charlie. And you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Two on, one out. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. He's 0 for 1. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Here's Rizzo swinging a drive. Deep right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. One runs in. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And the batter now, Anthony Volpe. And that's through there for a strike. Well, he's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very One good ball. read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Two on, one out. And there's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Next offering is outside. Swings and blasts low deep to left center. fire up the dugout and they add to the lead it's 4-0 and that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter a breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics if you fly open with the front shoulder there's no way you keep that ball fair an outstanding job mechanically he deserves that home run and now here Bye. is Alex Verdugo oh, one. the wind of the pitch swing and a base hit just kind of slice that one into center. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Now that pretty it. much split the They're zone down the middle. And those yeah. are the ones where you got to make LeMay. a pay. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Right through there for a strike. Well, they've been one able to strike. score four runs off of him in this inning. And this is where you want to just max out. Get as much as you can. Give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. And that one is lifted in the air. Hernandez calls it in to away. Here's Glaber Torres. Second base. Glaber Torres. That one the other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. This is the World Series on the show. And welcome back to the Way ballpark. To the John Chabi and Chris Singleton That's with you. Stop. And leading off Mookie. the bottom of the fourth, Mookie Betts. Yeah. Cole back to work. And first offering is fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Just oh, misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes.
The wind and the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's sometimes where pitchers would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at-bat to watch. Volpe should have this one. They got it for out number two. The third baseman, number 13. Two outs, bases yeah. empty. And here is Max Muncy. That's in there. That's strike one. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one. That one misses. One and two to count. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you can see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, oh, but okay. it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And the righty deals. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Dodgers go down quietly. They're down 4 nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and now it's Juan Soto. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Oh. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he'll turn for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough. New pitcher on now, James Paxton. Number Still pretty early in the ball Yay. game, so this bullpen has some work Paxton. ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. It's Aaron Judge now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. You know, these Yankees really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. Two straight. Runner at second. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Stanton, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Man at second. And that one fouled off. Paxton deals. Fouls it back with two strikes.
Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Austin Wells, the next to hit. Austin Wells. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. Lifted in the air right center field. Hernandez has it sized up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. One left for the Yankees. They lead 4 nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, the here's the left fielder, Teoscar left Hernandez. Teoscar. Hernandez. The right-hander back to work. They've got a oh. potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. You know, these Dodgers, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got no, players in this lineup ball. capable of sparking something, but it just ball. hasn't happened for them yet. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Got it by him for the K. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take. And there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Here's Kike Hernandez. Fly to left his first time. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. The Yanks leading by four. Last half of inning number five. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. now and up to the plate is Will Smith. In there for strike one. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Ground ball Rizzo picks it up. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And they get the out on Smith. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. The Yankees four and the Dodgers nothing. Back here in L.A., Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. The lefty fires. Oh. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Action in the pen down there. J.P. Fireisen getting ready to go. Hudson getting loose as well. Swings and misses. And one and one. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. And a swing and a miss there. One and two. This one in the air. Settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. The batter, the leather. Next to hit, Anthony Volpe. He really made his presence felt back in the fourth inning of this one, Singy. Absolutely. Three run blast and a shot of energy for his teammates. Everyone in that dugout was pretty fired up. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. And they'll do it again. 
And now the lefty. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. One ball, two straight. A rope into right, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feel. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. One out, the runner at second, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. That one hit. missing inside. Left hand hitter waits. Good job to fight that one off. Man at second. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, the people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. LeMay Hugh stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And a strike there to LeMayhew. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Man on second, two down. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And the pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one hit is all they get. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. The Yankees four, and the Dodgers nothing. And we're back. Lady Here's Dodgers, Jason Hayward. The, the right fielder, Jason Hayward. A wide to kick the pitch. That clips the zone, and that is strike one. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That one misses, and that's ball two. Swinging. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. Late with the swing there. Ooh, I, uh, you got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. And a strike on the outside edge. And that's down it away. That's Wouldn't chase that time. The Dodgers down by four here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And the pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Two down, nobody on. 
Swings through that one for strike two. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here at Dodger Stadium. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Paxton back to work. That's out to center field. Sizing this one up. And there's one away. Woo! He was all over that first pitch the fastball, but just the barely right missed it. Wow. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Soto in the box now. No balls in a strike. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Hard hit. Right side. They get the out on Soto. The center fielder, number 99. Here Aaron. is Aaron Judge. Judge. One for three. <laughs> On the ground to the left. Oh, oh. And it goes just foul. <laughs> On the ground, right side. And it's through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. The batter. Now the here's Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo One for two. Stanton. In the air out towards right center. Sizes this one up. Makes the play and it's out number three. The Yanks lead one, but they're in front for nothing. And welcome back Lady to the ballpark. The Here's Mookie Betts. Not shortstop. Mookie. And the right-hander yeah. back to work. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to lock on to the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. Turns and fires to Betts. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. It's a good breaking ball there. Just off the corner where you can't really do much damage. But it's close enough. Ready. You've got to protect. And he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. Foul ball. The Dodgers down by four. Here are the late stages of game one. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Muncie at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Two down, nobody on. Hit hard, that gets through. The batter, the left fielder. Runner first with two away. 
Teoscar oh, Hernandez good. digs in now. Smoked on the ground a second. Got they him. take the force out. That is the inning. One left for L.A. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Austin Wells. As the lefty gets to work. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hernandez sizing it up. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Next to hit, Anthony and Volpe. And ball one. One out and a runner at second. And we're in the top of the eighth. That oh. misses the zone. Two and no, oh. No. Into center. Hernandez has it sized up. Nabs it. Runner tags it second. Thought about third there, but throws on the brakes. Two away now. Now batting. Left fielder. So Alex. man aboard. And up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. Line drive. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they lead it four to nothing. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Kike Hernandez. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one's in there. One one. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Rizzo calls it in, and there's one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. The catcher. Will Smith. Fastball for a strike. The Yankees leading by four. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. The no. next offering misses. One and one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And that one finds its way through. So a man aboard now with one away. Now better. Really nice job staying up the middle Big with his approach. He didn't try to do too much hey, with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Hayward stands in now and watches strike one. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Oh, so impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail it here 4-0. We're back 
It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Evan Phillips. DJ LeMayhew to start it off. The third baseman. DJ LeMayhew. Here comes a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Back up the... Oh, that got him! And they get the out after the ricochet. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here comes Glaber Torres. Swing and a miss. No ball. One straight. In the air, left side. Hernandez settles underneath it. He's got it. There's two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Up next for the Yankees. Juan Soto down. Right here. Juan Soto. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. That's oh, a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way just to travel a fair more. Ran inside, almost got him. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely with a double, his second of the day. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Coming around third is Soto. He scores, and the lead is up to five. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Hernandez has it sized up, and that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run, and the lead is now 5-0. Bottom of the nine, and now the DH, Dodgers. Shohei Otani. Yohei. And a pitch. I mean, his Oop. pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Right hander kicks deals. On its way to the corner. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. The 0 2. Just missed. One and two. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Oh. 
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like. But you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Now it's Mookie Betts. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And a foul ball. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Wells pulls it down, and there's two gone. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Number five. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Hit to right, and that should do it. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees take game one of the World Series on the road. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. 5-0 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Our final line.